question. I have a bottle of vetiver mm -hmm. and it's so, so thick. I can't get drops out of it. Yeah. So, I mean, that is some of the resins and, and heavy oils. Um, yeah. that way. And so, you know, I, I even wrestle with, should I add a little like jojoba to it or alcohol or let it be pure? And so he, here's the thing that you can do. Um, mm. pretty, pretty much that and maybe one or two other oils are the only ones that we really have this issue with. Um, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'm able to buy things from different areas where they're distilled a little different and they're not quite as like thick like that. But yeah. the issue with vetiver as it ages, it gets thicker. And okay. so you know, the best vetiver is also aged. Like, so you have this kind of like little weird, weird thing. And so um, you can make like a hot water, like you're making it for a cup of tea and okay. keep the bottle closed and then mm -hmm. just let it sit in there for about, you know, three, four or five minutes. Yeah. And then take it out and it should, you know, it might not come through the reducer cap very well, but you can pop the cap off, you know, yeah. out and then just like kind of pour it a little tiny bit. Um, yeah. One of the things, if you're you're trying to blend with it or add it to like an ointment, or I mean, you can just add a little bit of jojoba to it just to make it like always liquid. You know, okay. sometimes you have to do that with older older resins. Yeah, um, a, a couple of things that I get, um, they don't even come as an oil; they come as a solid, and I have to like heat it and and get it to li liquefy and either mix it into a blend or if it's a straight you know something i had to make it into like a little bit of a liniment you know because it's just it won't it won't stay liquid okay you, know, you have to mix it with other liquids what happens if i uh, put some uh, rubbing alcohol in it does that cut down the efficacy no not at all it would make it easier to move and i mean especially if it's in a small bottle like that um you know any like the purer the alcohol the better like um whenever i'm doing something like that i'll use perfumers alcohol which is pretty okay. much almost just pure alcohol so you could get like a good grain alcohol or something okay. like that something that doesn't have a strong scent rubbing out rubbing alcohol would work as well um put, put a little bit in you know you can probably still heat it up put it in and then shake it up really good and that yeah. will make it much more liquid okay yeah all right Excellent. Thank you very much.